You know, all bad guys, you've got to belittle. It's what you do. And I'd be honored, and I know you do this. You see somebody, you pick out their foible. You can't help it, Ricky. Yeah. As bad guys... I've never touched a man's foible in my life. Could no. I just put that on record? <laughs> I, I point at this foible, but yes. I would never... I would never touch his foibles. Of course not. I would never... I would never... I would never play with his foibles. No, I just, I just... I'd point them out. Sure, I'd let him, I'd, I, I, I'd, but I'd put his foibles on TV and go, look at this guy's foibles. Yes. But I would never get any closer to his foibles than that. I never said you would. No, I just want to make that quite clear. All right, so how big are my foibles? His foibles. His, uh, listen, it, the first thing that I noticed about him is his foibles hit me in the face. As he walks yep. in the door, yes. I could. They, it's like he's showing off his foibles for everyone to yes. see. It was, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> this man has got huge foibles. That's true. But I'm not going to pick on them. Tom Zell's gallible 